password is Pepsi Shadow. It's a darker version of regular Pepsi. The eerie version of trademark copyrighted not sponsored. Anyway, season greetings and welcome to police simulator patrol officers. Yeah. The Jingle Bell Brigade has only slightly cleaned up this city. Specifically the downtown region, which I would prefer to call Upville. Reckon I don't know why there are so many people over here, but we're gonna try to go for mm, we're gonna start in the Callahan region. Like, that's not much to patrol, honestly. That's more like a foot patrol kind of thing going on here. Unless I just sit around and wait for something to happen, but... I might have to add more time to the clock, and I don't really want to do that. Let's do it anyways. We'll just sit here and wait for something to happen. Well, that's weird. So I have increments of 5. I never noticed this. For increments of 5 up to 45 and then suddenly it goes 15 increments and then 30 increments why don't they just give me all five counts or all five increments from 15 to 90 that doesn't make any sense I'm gonna do 45 And then we'll park right off somewhere off in the distance. So that way we can find these criminals that are wandering around our street. Specifically the ones that are dropping trash on the ground. It's the holidays, people. You can't be throwing trash on the ground. We already have snow, and that's a danger in all of its own. High criminal activity. Ready yourself to show some police presence. Copy that. You got it. Alright. Let's grab Rudolph. We gotta make Santa proud by showing police presence in this area. Alright. There we go. We'll just leave Rudolph's lights on and park her there. Now let's see what happens. Oh, we already have someone over here graffitiing. I see that. Unless that's been there. Oh. We require support. Who's available? I'm currently busy yeah, we're gonna turn with another issue. Hang on a second. Is there nobody over here? Oh, there is somebody over here. They just didn't load in from the distance that I saw them. Excuse me. What do you think y'all doing? I'm gonna ask you to stop that. You didn't add color to it. I would prefer blue, red, green, or yellow. Because I'm simple like that. You've been detained. Vandalism. You're being detained for vandalizing the property by spraying graffiti. I was just spraying in the air, not on the wall. Boy, how is that even possible? And why would you do that? You're basically just ruining the environment for all of us doing that. You know how many chemicals are in those freaking aerosol cans? And how you probably shouldn't be using them to begin Show with? Show me your ID, please. Sure. Here you go, officer. You know, paint in general causes really bad fumes to go into the air, but whatever. It's one of the reasons why you use a mask when you're painting. So that way you don't breathe that stuff in. Yeah. Everything's fine there. But you're still getting a ticket for it because you gave up a dumb excuse. I will issue you a ticket for vandalism. Fines will be around 400 to to $1,000. So much money for such a small infraction. Yeah, I know, right? Get All here. right, you're free to go. Enjoy your day. Yeah, he just immediately gets on his phone. He's probably going on to TikTok or Twitter, and he's complaining to all his friends and family. Like, oh, this cop stopped me from spraying in the air. Like, yeah, you sprayed in the air with the exact kind of uh, motion to somehow create a picture nice to see on the you, wall. Officer. Hey there. Yeah, no, you, you weren't spraying on the air, you dumb. Alright. Is there anybody else that's gonna do something stupid? I could pull over cars. Hmm. 
That's a thing I could do. I'm thinking about it. That guy doesn't look like he's, uh, having a good day. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna make this my own special traffic stop. Yeah, hey. pull over. Hey! Pull over to the side of the road! Wasn't able to find a parking spot? They don't need to. They just need to pull over. I wonder how mad the game's gonna be when I decide to... Make my own type of traffic stop. Not an official one. Their insurance isn't valid. Uh, let's see. Why would I have pulled them over? Wow. I really don't got anything, huh? I got nothing on them. But they do have an expired plate. The reason I stopped you is because your license plate is no longer valid. Yeah. Okay. Let me have a look at your license and registration, please. Here you go, officer. Oh, I thought it was their insurance. No, so it's, <laughs> it's actually their insurance that's expired. So that was a bogus claim. Seems very confident. Well, uh, you have no valid insurance. I'm issuing you a ticket because you don't have valid insurance. I don't have that much money. Yeah. Well, first off, I didn't tell you how much it was. And second, you know, it sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Yeah, they get really mad over that. Okay, so I shouldn't be doing that. How am I gonna find these people? You can find all the people that are throwing trash on the ground. And yell at them. Hello. Hello to you too. That person's still over there? He's still over there. It's not a stop sign esque crosswalk. Insurance is invalid. Well, dang it. Not really anything I can do about that. I guess I can get people over here. Maybe try to get them for speeding. You never know. Alright, Rudolph, let's go. We're not finding anybody here. Apparently, they all decided that they wanted to be goody-goody little two-shoes. Which is great. You know, especially for, uh, Santa on the holidays. That just means that they get presents. But we want to find people who don't deserve presents. That way we can take their presents, give them coals in their stockings, and make sure that everything is safe for everybody, especially the children's. Let's go, light. Come on. Is that a one-way? It is a one-way. Okay, well, you just ran the red. Man, you could have just, you know, stopped what you were doing and let me go on my merry way, but no, you said to be dumb. I pulled you over because you just drove through a red light. I'm in a real hurry. I'm sorry. Hmm. 
she said she was sorry. But I smell alcohol. Show me your ID and car insurance, please. Sure. Here you go, officer. Is she in a hurry to get sober? I mean, normally people just take a nap for that. Invalid insurance. Seems very confident. I wonder what their rule book says about people Please being very exit the confident. And step to the sidewalk. They said they didn't say that I can frisk them for being angry, which is complete bull hockey. So, what can I do when they're very confident? All right, let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. No. Not. Come on. One seven or zero one seven, so point zero one seven. That's nothing. That's like probably a quarter of a beer. Like, what is wrong with you? So I'm just gonna issue a citation for the no valid. You're being charged for not carrying valid insurance. So much money for such a little infraction. But I'm gonna let you off with a verbal warning for the red light. Because you said you were you sorry. Just a verbal warning this time. Many thanks, officer. Well, I got it. All right, you can go now. Drive safe. All right. Any officers Yo. available? We need assistance. I'll manage it. Hi. No. Oh. I thought I turned that off, but then there's also a minor accident going on. Uh, where is it? It's a hundred meters out. Oh, it's literally around the corner. All right. Excuse me. Minor accident. What? Whoops. Well, now we have two minor accidents going on. Um, well, I'm already close to this one, so. I wonder if me blitzing through the red light caused that. Let me hear what you saw. I'm shocked, officer. I, I have no idea what happened. Okay. Uh, well, I, I definitely need your insurance. I'd like to see your ID and car insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Okay, everything is good there. Shaking. Uh, well, I mean, they did just... Wait. This person's involved, but they're not getting out of their car. I don't understand. All right, Can you tell me. What Can you tell me what you saw? I'm still recovering from the crash. My mind is blank. That doesn't make any sense. Usually, if you're recovering from said crash, you have a vivid understanding of the details that went into. I need to said see crash. your ID and proof of insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here you go. That's kind of what you know, officers and crime scene investigators do, anyways. All right. You know, the accident investigators. Also, you didn't give me your insurance information. You know, they like to talk to you before like a month has gone up. So that way they can get your, uh, your fresh mind on the scene. Be able to understand what's going on. See if you remember all the details that's going on. If not, then, uh, hmm. Might be something wrong with you at that point. You don't remember what happened. See, ID expired. Registration is invalid. Insurance is invalid. That's a whole lot of problems. Uh, you, did you see what happened? Can you tell me what you saw? No, I'm sorry. I didn't see anything. Then why are you here? Get out of here. It's fine. Have a nice day. Anything else? I don't know how you damaged the mirrors, but okay. I'm like one point away. There you go. For making this an extensive report. Alright, so unfortunately for you. 
Your insurance info. Actually, we should just go ahead and do Kindly cooperate tests. as I collect a sample to see if you're drunk. Just to be absolutely sure, in case someone might be over the limit, and we'll have to go to jail. I'll just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. That minor accident countdown is actually kind of threatening now because it's like one third away and not exactly sure how close I am to finishing All right, this. Let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. I mean, they should be able to drive away at least. I'll just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. Alright, they're both clean. It's just the one with the mohawk that unfortunately has a lot of problems. So you have an expired ID. I heard that. You have no valid insurance. And apparently your car's registration is uh, out of date. You've committed multiple violations. You will be charged for all of them. Okay, I may have made one mistake, but the others are so small. Do they even count? No. I cannot do those are all major driving. issues. If you don't have any one of those things while driving your car, you can't drive the car. Period. So, you're stupid. Please take your accident report. Seems fine. Thank you, officer. Welcome. Now get out of here. All clear. You're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. Please take your accident report. Thank you, officer. Welcome. Now stay safe and happy We're holidays. Here. You're free to go. Have a nice day and take care. All right. That taxi almost slammed into me. By me, I mean they almost slammed into Rudolph. All right. And now we're here. I heard that at the other scene. I've arrived on site. I'll start clearing up the accident. Got to park Rudolph at an angle. Block off these roads. All right, you. Tell me what happened. Can you tell me what you saw? I'm still recovering from the crash. My mind is blank. No, I don't believe you. I need to see your ID and proof of insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here you go. Everything seems fine. Yep, everything's valid. Very good. Can you tell me what you saw? I don't understand what happened, officer. Yeah, probably didn't hit you the brake pedal. Let me have a look at your ID and insurance card, please. Sure, here you go, officer. Instead, you panicked and hit the accelerator like a stupid. Oh, everything's valid. I clicked on that. This is supposed to be a minor accident. Like your entire front end is smashed in and all six of your windows are broken. Surprisingly, there's nothing wrong with this thing. This SUV survived. Alright. Uh. Alright, I got the skid mark. Did you damage the car on the side? No? Good. Alright. So I guess with that... Uh... I guess we'll check to see if any of them might be under the influence. Alright, let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. They didn't give any signs that they might be. 
But you just gotta be absolutely sure. You never know. I'll just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. I have had moments. Ah, like right there. Where it doesn't tell me that there's something wrong with them. There's clearly something wrong with them. Alright. Uh, we're gonna issue the accident report first. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. And with that being said, you're under arrest. Or... Can yeah, cannabis. You've committed a violation by driving under the influence of cannabis. You're being arrested. Please move onto the sidewalk. No, don't. Please, officer. Yeah, it's too late. I already did it. All right, you. We're going to double check just to be absolutely I'm sure. I'm just taking a sample to see if you've been drinking and driving. Here. We have an I'm taking care of another issue at the moment. I mean, we could have gone for that major accident, but... We'll I don't know how fast I'd get there. driving under the influence of drugs. All right, he's clean. So with that, he gets the accident report. Okay, here's your accident report. Oh, wow. Such an extensive report. Yeah, thank you. And happy holidays. We're finished here. You're free to go. Have a nice day and take care. Yeah, the Jingle Bell Brigade serves justice yet again to the dumbs. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Like that, this truck needs to go. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need a wrecker at my current location. Please. Wait, he's not going to take the... Oh, okay. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need a wrecker at my current location, please. Sure. The is en route to your location. Jaywalker. That's weird. The first tow trucks that I called in said that they couldn't get there because of a traffic jam. The second one decided, oh yeah, you know what? We can do this. Also, why is this traffic jam still here? I thought I told them to leave. We got an emergency call about a possible I'm crime busy. scene. Please, Please send drive there to, to investigate the, the situation. Why is this person running? Oh, that's the, uh, the partner officer who, for some reason, parked his van way over there. I need you to be cooperative and follow me to the patrol car. I have no Stop. choice. Hey! I'm gonna run down here real quick. figure out why these people are still here. I mean, there's no one else to talk to. I don't know why they still have their cars here. Yeah, whatever. Boy, I swear, if you slammed into Rudolph while I was out and about, I'm gonna be super mad. Alright. We have finished the Callahan financial sector. We can leave for actual Callahan. Let's go this way. So radio callouts are enabled now. I'll see if they'll give us another major crash to do. I think both those trucks just ran it red. Nah. It might have just turned red just as I was looking over. We require an officer to take care of transporting I'm taking care state. of another issue. Anyone available? Yeah, we're not going to do that. And a couple of these cars look suspicious. Yeah, 
Perfect you and your crime scenes. <laughs> Look at them flashing their red lives. <laughs> That's funny. That's adorable. They're trying to be me. Uh, joke's on them. That's illegal. They can't do that. Man, they really want me to go to crime scenes right now. I am not doing any of that garbage. Especially not after what you pulled the last couple sessions. Where you put the crime scene in an area that I basically had no access to. There's a situation that needs taken care of. Anybody available? Oh, frick, there's so many call-outs. order red light. No, shut up. Move it, people. I will not stand by and just let you do all the dumb things while crosswalking. Hmm. This might be a good area to go ahead and, uh, Where is it? It's in Conway? Conway is... All the way over there? I'm on my yeah, way. Yeah, okay. Fine, sure. We'll do that. I was gonna try and see if I can get some speeders. But, uh... This works just as good, I guess. Oh, this truck is acting suspicious. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to pull over because you're being suspicious and also you almost made me rear-end you. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Alright. Alright, you know why I pulled you over? Because you're doing suspicious things. I stopped you because you seem to be having trouble driving. I was trying to find a good radio station. That distracted me a bit. That is a dumb excuse. Let me see your ID, and if available, this vehicle's insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here you go. Got distracted, she says. Your ID's expired. Smell of alcohol and their slurring? Please exit hmm. the vehicle and step to the sidewalk. That sounds not good. I mean, we already have problems when you decided to wear a gray dress with red and black boots. Like, why would you wear boots with dress? That just doesn't make any sense. I think unless it's some kind of matching pair, maybe. But that still doesn't make any sense. Kindly cooperate as I collect a sample to see if you're drunk. Boots are designed for work-related walking and or trekking, so... Or hiking, but not just everyday wear. Also, uh, you definitely over the limit. So you going to jail? I have to arrest you for driving under the influence of alcohol. Please don't do that. Yeah, I already did it. I would arrest you for your terrible fashion sense, but you know what? Unfortunately, that's not necessarily against the law. It's just. Uh, terrible freedom of speech, I guess. Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? A wrecker will be there in a couple of minutes. No, I can't enter. Oh, no. Give you a ticket for facing the wrong way. Because priorities. Hey, partner. I'll take care of the suspect. You got it. Don't resist. Get it. No choice. All right. And we're heading out. Time 
time to go deal with the traffic stop. And there it is. Dispatch here. We have an emergency. Oh, In major accident. Officers, please respond. We have a major accident. The traffic stop is just white noise at this point. Swoop day. Out my way. What? I've arrived on site. I'll start clearing up the accident. That's definitely a major accident. But the question is, is anybody hurt? I need a road barrier. There is. Someone's on the ground. We gotta call for an ambulance. I have an injured person requesting an ambulance. I like how I was just about to do the, uh... What do you call it? Frick. Can't put this barrier down properly. There was a spot. Somewhere around here. Really? I can't put this barrier down? I need people to not come okay, this good. way. Can you walk on your own and come with me Fine, to the whatever. ambulance for further examination? Yes. Let me stay. Right, I like how we were about to do traffic stops. And then immediately they gave us the major Can accident. Can you tell me what you saw? I'm sure I used my turn signal before turning. Really? I need to see your ID and proof of insurance, please. That's your argument? Sure, officer. Here you go. Like, no one even called her out for anything there. She was just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I used my turn signal. I didn't say that you didn't. You tell me what happened. Can you tell me what you saw? I used my turn signal. No mistake on my end. Really? <laughs> Let me have a look at your ID and insurance card, please. Sure. Two of them self-proclaiming that they used their turn signal. Very interesting. Oh, all things good there. Yeah, I heard that. You throwing trash on the ground. I know it was you. Stop right there, criminal scum. I stopped you because I saw you littering. That can't be true. I'd never do that. Oh, really? Would you please show me your ID? Of course. There you go, officer. Well, 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 what do we have here? It appears this woman is a man. And this man's about to get arrested. Alright. So, we issue a violation for the littering. I have to fine you for littering, which will cost you $25. Why does it cost so much? It wouldn't cost anything if you actually properly threw your trash away. In an actual trash bin. Also, you're under arrest for, uh... Stolen ID. You've committed a violation by carrying a stolen ID. Please, don't do that. It's too late. I already did it. I need backup to take a subject into custody. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. If you had just properly thrown the trash in a trash bin, we wouldn't have this issue. Can I still not put... Ah, uh, there was one fraction. Too close to the intersection? That's some bull hockey. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I didn't talk to the taxi man. <laughs> Tell me what you saw. I used my turn signal. I did nothing wrong. Why are they all complaining that they used their turn signal? ID and vehicle please cooperate insurance card, with me please. to the patrol car. Sure, officer. At your service, you officer. Like, no one's accusing them of anything.
Also, his ID looks almost exactly like the other dude's ID. Which is kind of a problem. But they're both valid, so it doesn't matter. Whoop. It's good to see you again, officer. Hi there. Ah, you hanging out with your uh, inebriated girlfriend there? Huh. I mean, you might have a fine time, but I don't know about her. Unless that's what she prefers, but you know, that might also attribute to maybe your terrible character. Yeah, I guess I probably shouldn't judge. Port is sufficient. Only barely, though. Port is extensive. That should be everything, right? No, that's everything with those cars. Now, everyone's complaining that they use their turn signals, which means everyone gets a DUI test. I'll just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. Okay. She's good. All right, let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. I'll just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. He's fine. All right, let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. I'll take a sample to check if you've taken drugs before driving. All good. All right. So it's just simple case of uh, someone doing something dumb at the exact wrong time. Nice to see you, officer. I would cause hey them there. to crash into two other people. Thing is that I don't know exactly who started it. I feel like that needs to be a thing. Is that I need to determine who actually initiated the crash. But I guess that's more of a investigator thing to do rather than a uh, patrol officer. I'm just here to collect the evidence. So, hmm. Yeah, nothing else to do. Everyone gets a report Please and everyone take gets your to leave. Report. Such a comprehensive report will be very useful. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. Happy holidays. All clear. You're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. Please take your accident report. Oh, wow. Such an extensive report. Yeah. Thank you very much. And happy You're holidays. Finished here. You're free to go. Have a nice day and take care. Whoop. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Here's your accident report. Oh, wow. Such an extensive report. Thank you. You're good to go. Drive safe and have a nice day. Happy holidays. All right. And now we have three cars that need to be towed because I have a vehicle Frank. here that needs towing. I need a record at my car location. I have a vehicle here please. that needs towing. I need a record I have at my a car here location, that needs please. towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. All tow trucks are on call at the moment. We'll send one to your location as soon as possible. Can I go back to the uh the traffic stop area? I wonder that. Just gonna squeeze through here, excuse me. Let's go, Rudolph. My gosh. 200 points. 
And we cleared Baytown. So now I gotta see if, uh... That traffic stop thing is still in effect. I don't think it is. This person over here has a smoking tailpipe, though. See if the traffic stop was... See, I'm over here. I think it was over here. I think that's where the traffic stop was. Your smoking tailpipe is really bad. I need to I'm detain you because busy. your car has another unit smoke. to the crime scene. I got my car pimped, officer. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> his smoking tailpipe is the result of him pimping out his car? <laughs> Excuse me? Please show me your license and vehicle registration. Yes, officer. There you go. Uh, that... <laughs> Okay, that, that is the dumbest excuse by far that I have ever heard. That actually takes the cake on the stupidest things that these people have said to excuse their idiocy. Ah, uh, that actually hurt my head. It was so funny. You didn't have valid insurance. So you're going to get a ticket for that? And you're gonna get a ticket for the smoking tailpipe. You've committed multiple violations. You will be charged for all of them. What? Did I really commit that many violations at once? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. That you're gonna have to lose a bunch of money and you won't be able to buy anything for your children and or your wife. Possibly husband. And they're gonna have a slightly sadder holidays. Now get out all of right, here. You're free you bother to go. me. Enjoy your day. Well, it's not my problem. That's Santa's problem. And Santa will give coal in your stockings. And therefore I say it's not a problem. Uh, you're driving with a broken windshield. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm gonna reverse out of here. Whoop day. Ignore the red light. I mean, I'm doing more than just ignoring a red light. I'm friggin' being dumb and... Driving backwards. Driving too fast. I want to make it back to the area where the traffic stop was. I just want to check and see if it's still there. And if it isn't, then oh well. Also, I didn't really check this person's ID. Everything's valid. Person behind me has a smoking tailpipe. I can't imagine. Oh. Oh. We have a stop that needs to be I can take that. Oh, okay. Let's go do the traffic stop. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. It's in Jefferson, though. Ah, oh, that's not going to give me anything. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sirens are on for no reason. Yeah, I don't care what you think. I gotta make it over there in time. Woo! Ah, boy, what's wrong with you? You should have moved over for Rudolph. Frickin' stupid. I have my sirens on. And although they're on for no reason, you're just gonna have to deal with it. This crash is your fault, officer. Return to the police station. We'll send a unit to handle the accident. My bad. <laughs> uh, well, that is quite unfortunate. I avoided the person only to just straight up smack into a random vehicle. That figures. Oh, well. I'll uh, get my police points some other time. I think at that point we'll just go ahead and 
call it a night and say that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Take care. We'll see you in the next session. And properly serve more justice, hopefully. And not get ma you know, Santa mad at us for doing stupid things like smacking into parked cars when trying to not hit a civilian that was jaywalking in the streets. This is why we hate jaywalkers. And also people who throw trash on the ground. But that's for a different reason.